Okay, Shalom, coming to you in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai Bashem Makar Kadash. And the double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who told me this truth. And salutations unto the Akim that continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. Um, and what I want to do is going to be a real quick video. I speak about the oils and um, the spirit, man. Um, you, know, uh, you know, certain brothers are into. And the oils and incenses and stuff like that um and uh the two primary scriptures that i'm basing this video of there's more but the two primary scriptures is uh, proverbs the seventh chapter around verse 17 where it says i perfume my bed with cinnamon and with aloes wood and so uh, what is it psalms 133 uh, verse 1 how good and pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together um, then verse 2 it says it's like the ointment um, poured on her head uh, roughly paraphrasing which Aaron did um, run from which ran from Aaron's bed even down to the floor because um, Aaron had a bed going all the way down man you know but the oils um, pretty much you know yeah they smell nice but once again they um carry a vibration about them um now uh um oh, i ain't got it in this shot here so right but um these are the few the ones that i wear um here we have um this is a a oud infused because pure oud is black but this is um mixed with another i forget which one it is um but i've just the spirit as it were i've pulled up two sweet ones and one minty one um this one here um pretty much oud um it lifts your spirit man okay now this being a sweeter um um on the on the sweeter side of the spectrum um it uh it lifts your spirit man you know music you know um uh, you know you can as we know according you know as recorded in the scriptures you can put demons on people and take demons off of people just by playing music well guess what scents and oils have the same power within them man you know okay um they can um lift your mood you know they can make you think on higher vibrations man you know so i wear this one um you know to to lift my vibration because it's got a very sweet smell to it here's another oud uh, so like this is not an oud um but oh I forget which one it is man um right this is another sweet smelling one um it's something else man because they're all they've all got elements of it because you can mix them this one i know for sure it's got elements of oud in it but there's something else in it and white musk um very beautiful smell um white musk is expensive man you know but um one of the best smells out there man um and this one was given to me by the elder oops of um the camp elder ma'ad um, he also makes the oils and stuff. Um, it's got uh, frankincense and myrrh in it. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Um, yeah, man. Um, that one. You see, I paused. <laughs> I was thinking about it very very high vibrations man um like when you come out the bath this one is a very beautiful one to put on man and these are things that we're going to get back in entirety in the kingdom now here i've got the olive oil talking about anointing yourself when you anoint yourself you want to be using pure extra virgin olive oil um you know you can you know you can do that it's good to you know anoint yourself from time to time now here um i've got a black soap okay 
Now, you know, these chemicals out there, you know, they got fluoride in the water now and stuff, but black soap, you know, it's a really good soap to use when you're when you're washing, man. Okay. Um, you know, we're clean people. Um, Leviticus, the I believe it's the fifteenth chapter, was dedicated to basically purity, man. What makes you impure, both men and women, and how to wash, man, and when you're clean, which becomes at the evening after you've washed. Now, black soap, man, has got some really good properties in it. Um, let me see. It says here, got pure honey, shea butter, uh, palm palm kernel oil, cocoa pod ash, palm bunch ash, aloe vera, which is amazing for the skin. Lime juice, lemon juice, water, um, and it's biodegraded, meaning that it will break down after some time. It's pure elements, and there's not no chemicals, man. The reason I bring this out is because if you're into the oils, these, um, you know, like, and we all use it, man. It ain't being over righteous, but if you can get your hands on some of this and use it in addition to whatever soap you use, because them other soaps, man. They just got chemicals in them too. Now, the reason why I say this is because you've got to be careful with the oils, man. Um, you can put them on in high doses, which, like, I do myself. You can put a little bit on, or you can put it on in high amounts. But if you put it on in high amounts or regularly, you don't want to clog your pores. You know, you, you know, you, you put it on your arms, um, the back of your hand, the sides of your neck, and if you want, lightly on your clothes. But especially on the skin, man. Um, when you when you wash, and we're meant to wash in running water, by the way. Um, use try and get your hands on black soap because that thoroughly washes your pores out. These other soaps don't wash your pores out, man. You know we ain't like them Edomites in a movie. We get in a bath and just sit there. Nah, man. You gotta scrub your skin. You gotta pour water over your skin. You know, use soap on your skin. You know. Um, you know, and um, because guess what, man? If you put oils, 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 oils on, and then you don't wash properly, your pores ain't getting cleaned. That's how you get spots. That's how you get rashes, and then your skin gets irritated, and then you wanna blame the oils. You see, you see, yeah, the, the oils, man, they they bad for my skin. Nah, nigga, you ain't washing properly, my nigga. <laughs> hey, Salakia, you know you gotta wash properly, man. But black soap really helps clean out your pores, man. But there's many scriptures on, you know, you can also burn these, you know, if you've got the chalice um, and the, the incense burner, you can burn these in the house um, as well, man. You can get the chippings or you can burn the oils, put righteous vibrations out there, man. But I've got a large collection, but this is just a few that I pulled out, man. But, um, yeah, man, when you wait, of course, always pray over them, man, pray over them. You see, I've been using this one a lot. And, um, yeah, man, even when you anoint yourself, you pray, you pray over the oil and you don't just have this in the kitchen and then you use this to cook and fry eggs and then, yeah, I'm going to anoint myself with it. You buy a separate bottle, man, and you dedicate that to be an anointing oil, okay? So with that, I'm going to wrap it up, man. Um, hey, man, the earth being beautified, we're going to get the full vibration, the full, um, the full produce of the earth man and we're gonna really experience beauty cleanliness and purity man so with that i'm gonna wrap it up man shalom